again, Father, in the prophetic. And uh, last time we were looking at prophetic presbyteries in an open meeting sense yeah. and uh, the wisdom of that. And you finished up talking about, you know, uh, some things can be spoken publicly, uh, but some things should only be spoken in private. And you said that's we need to talk further into that when it comes to when you're hearing God prophetically, what can be spoken publicly, but what should only be spoken privately to individuals or to churches? Okay, I think that when it comes to speaking publicly yeah. concerning a church yeah. or an individual, mm -hmm. the rule, the Corinthians rule, mm -hmm. applies. Edification, exhortation, and comfort. Okay. I believe that mm. what we do and what we say has got to be governed by certain principles. I, you know, a lot of young bloods, particularly when I was just starting out, and, and there's a lot of prophetic guys emerging left, right, and center. It was pretty indiscriminate. It was mm -hmm. blast away and mm -hmm. let it go. Mm -hmm. But it, it was pretty irresponsible too. Um, the liberty was incredible, but the consequence was not. Yeah. And and so when we are prophesying publicly, yes. The, for one, it should be under the directorship and governorship of the pastor of the house, the one held responsible. Yep. I'm not held responsible for the outcome of that congregation. That, that, that appointed apostolic leader or pastor, they're held responsible. Okay. So if I'm going to bring about a shift, I'm going to bring about... Uh, some sort of uh, prophetic declaration that's going to be, you know, every eyebrow on the place is going to be raised, then I need to float by with that pastor beforehand. I need to say, uh, are you content? I'm, I'm feeling to rock the boat a bit, but what I'm going to be delivering. And in the conversation of must take place in which that governing oversight is happy to take responsibility mm. for that what you are going to do in their house. <laughs> um, and so they're responsible wow. after all. Um, so yeah. the other thing I would say is yeah. that when it comes to prophesying over individuals in the house, yeah. God will never lose the heart of a shepherd. Yeah. God will not... Good, good point. Yeah. You know, I remember 40 years ago, I remember a guy arose and was blasting people from the pulpit. Yeah. Blood all over the place. That person had, if that person responded correctly, what if, what if the word of knowledge that guy was operating was in fact accurate as far as discerning the guy need, needed to hit repentance and get his heart right with God because he was doing da, 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 da. What have you done to that? You destroyed them. Because no matter what the work of the Holy Spirit is in that person's life, there's going to be a percentage of that congregation. All they'll hear for the next 10 years yeah. is that proclamation. Okay, okay. <laughs> Always mm. draw a line of distinction between that which should be pastorally handled. Yeah. The discipleship, yeah. adjustment, correction of the individual's life, yeah. prophecy, edification, exhortation, and comfort. Can exhortation be adjustive? Yes, but it's not adjustive as in... Um, Public I see that you're sinning uh, from... Pardon? Public shaming. Public shaming, publicly exposing. There's nowhere in the New Testament that condones that because you, 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 you step from the motivation of a loving pastoral heart into I will prove my gift this day by stunning this guy. You, so, so there's a harshness attached to some of these words that come out that expose this person and condemn them. 
God is not a condemner. God is a forgiver. God is a restorer. God is a healer. God is one that takes the most broken of lives mm. and makes something beautiful out of them. But if you shut the door on this person by a public exposure, wow. it doesn't matter what the Holy Spirit had in mind. Now you've stacked everything against it. Mm. Was it Jesus that said, do unto others as you would have them do to exactly. you? Exactly. So maybe a question is, would... If, if I was in this person's shoes, would I want to be spoken to in front of everyone? Very or would good. I want someone to love me enough to care enough to come to me privately mate, with the pastor? And, or, and, I've had occasions. And say, hey, mm. hey, the Holy Spirit's revealed this. His heart is so for you. Um, let's go on a journey towards healing, health, restoration. Absolutely. I've actually had events, obviously, over five decades, where the word that I, uh, knowledge that I got concerning this person, sure, and that's going to lead into another clip coming up mm. um, sometime, the difference between the word of knowledge and the word of prophecy, because yeah, they're sure. often merged and yeah, they're not yeah. the same thing. Yeah. But if I pick up by word of knowledge, mm. that there's a desperate need for adjustment in this guy's life. Sure. What's the right thing to do about it? The right thing is to go to the person responsible for that person. Go, good. go to the pastor and say, look, I've got some disturbing thoughts about the part, that person. So one, I'm going to submit them to you as that person's yeah, oversight. Yeah, yeah. And if you get a witness to them, then together we can speak to the individual. Okay. But I never go directly to the individual without the pastoral uh, responsibility uh, that person being with me. Why? Yeah. Because I am assuming a position that God hasn't put me in. I'm sure. not there as that person's disciple. I'm not there to cry, uh, to wipe up their tears on Monday morning and Thursday night. I'm there to bring the revelation of the Holy Spirit. That pastor is responsible for the outcome. So you have to involve them early in the piece. You're really pointing to the care care that yeah. needs to be taken being careful i mean um it, it's the i i pray that god's speaking to you as he continues to refine us all not only in the expression of the gift but much more importantly in the expression of the father and the giver of the gift the gift really and good. that's what we want to do that's so what we do. if you yeah. wouldn't want it to happen to you Let's not do it to another. That's Let's good. honor God, honor Jesus, honor the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.